These are a few basics I'm doing in Excel. Even though I've worked with people that have much experience, they get a little stymied by these things here. So I'm going to go over a couple little things here. First thing I want to talk about is entering an alignment of data. Uh, when you're doing things here, like if you have let begins with a letter, it's left, numbers, right aligned, you could fix that. But let's say you type in, let's say, four, five, four zeros and then a one. It only shows up as a one. To make it appear, there's two ways to do it. You could hit the apostrophe, four zeros, don't make it wrong. And now you got that. You got that little green thing there, it thinks there's an error. And you could go over here and just align everything to the right. Um, you can also do it another way, like if you are doing things here, and let's say I'm just going to go here and just say stock number. I just, I could right click inside here, go to format cells. I did a right click here, and I go into text right here. I say okay. So if I put a number in here, it's not gonna go in here. So if I type in three 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 four 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 zero zero one, see their text, and I could just type in widget. So you're getting those little green arrows there. So I want to show you that. Okay, I'm just gonna delete this column. Next thing here, you're doing a date. Let's say you want to put the day, the month, and the year. You just want to read let's say August 2016, you put it in here, it converts it to August 1st, 2016. You don't want the one, you could format the cells. What you would do in this case, apostrophe again. So now you have it as an actual text there, or you could have formatted it as text. Again, if I had typed in August 2016, and then if I go into here, and I go into Format Cells, and I go onto Text, and I say OK, it actually converted the date number. Every date is a value into a number here. And now if I go into here, now I type in August 2016, now it's in there with the apostrophe. Next thing here, you're doing your budget and what it is here or your sales. You might want to name the sheet. You just don't want it to be sheet one. Most of you know how to name a sheet. I double click in the tab. Now what a lot of people will do, they will create a new sheet, copy everything, paste it in there, reformat it. Very time consuming. You can copy a sheet. I'm going to show you that. I right click inside the tab. There's a couple of ways of doing it here. I'm doing this here. I click on move or copy. I click on create a copy. And it's going to stay within this book. I could say move to end or put before the sheet here or here. And then you cannot have two pages or sheets with the same name. So you just double click and call this September. September 2016 and then I could just go into here I have that fixed for the September sales so these are a few little basics that you might find useful good luck